Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, this video is kind of tell you on my Gumroad page, myphysicalworld.gumroad.com, I have put up some Krita files of signs. Um, here, this is one example of the signs, kind of like a rental car thing. Um, but I never gave you an idea how to use these files. Uh, if you use Krita a lot, you'll get the idea. Um, if you've never used Krita, uh, this video is probably more for you. But there are some other things uh, I'm going to talk about uh, shortly today. Um, on using signs different ways okay um, if you haven't please subscribe to the channel uh, it'd be awesome and please hit that uh, notification bell for upcoming videos share this video and uh, make comments hopefully you're kind to me because <laughs> I have I have very thin skin no I'm kidding um, anyway let's talk about this all right so if you go to the gumroad page and you download the free Krita sign kit it's a zip file and it has a whole bunch of different signs now obviously I made these signs for Columbus Ohio John Glenn International Airport but you don't have to use them there um, they are more of a template for you to get up and up and going all templates are at least 4090 uh, all all files are at least 4096 okay uh, they may be little bit different sizes but each dimension is divisible by four so it's compatible with the uh, flight sim okay now most of the files pretty much all of them are set up by layer okay and I have I I uh, hopefully I have um, notated what each layer is okay now the background if you turn that off I think I don't use the background a lot except for maybe like a white sign or something like that but the green you don't have to have the background because base is the, the actual layer okay but if you want to make edits to any one of these uh, layers I put them as vector layers so you can easily manipulate them so for instance if you wanted to change uh, the arrow direction you can simply click arrow click the now there's two arrows on here one is a copy so this is the copy here I think I can't remember we'll find out but you hit the selection arrow ar arrow and you click on it okay yeah I got it then you can actually float to the corner where you get that rotate symbol and you can simply rotate it or you can actually move the arrow to a position you can scale you can grab the edges and scale them and all that kind of stuff so each layer on these Krita files you can edit you can change that's why I made them vector layers and not paint layers okay now if you have like for these signs for these rental car these car rentals they actually come in with the name of the PGN that PNG that I'm using now hopefully in the in the zip files uh, they came across if they don't you're probably not going to have anything in here but basically what each one of these is it's just a separate PNG that's on my system that I downloaded from the internet and I layer import import layer and then I choose the PNG and then I rescale it and put it where I want it okay so that's how how in this particular example of this car rental sign that's all these are they're separate PNGs okay so and you can you can select I left them the names so you can select like here's the Avis you can uh, oh 
I got to do for uh, image you have to do manipulate layer or transform layer and then you can move it around resize it rotate it whatever you wanted to okay most of you probably understand this stuff okay um, with the text um, I usually try to just put the text as the name of the layer okay so rental car text so if you select the layer of the text you'll go up to the text tool and you'll get this this dark red box around it just simply double click and it opens up the text dialog where you can type in your new text or whatever that sign says and it doesn't change the color or the font or anything um, but you can also do that by using these dialogues like here's all the fonts here and then you can change the colors whatever you want all right you have modified text discard yes okay so each one of these is built in layers and like I said if you want to change the text just select the layer hit the text tool click on the text and it'll put this red box around it and double click it and it'll take you into that dialogue that you can change that all right so most of these signs are pretty easy to, to work with um, just getting used to the layers all right and how they're in there hopefully I've named them all I can't remember exactly all the signs that I put in that zip file I think there's probably six or seven of them I don't I can't remember but it should get you enough to get started and I'm going to be adding some more later as well okay now let's go about lighting these signs okay there's there's different ways to do it all right now I'm gonna explain on my sign what I did to light my sign at night so I'm gonna go into blender and this this model and I, I put a I'm gonna be putting a fast motion build on this on this model okay just listen to the music and enjoy the modeling but anyway um, I made this highway sign all right and you notice that the colors are kind of brightish all right the reason for that is if you come over here to materials and we come down to the MSFS materials um, oh I don't have one selected that's why there we go we got the shuttle sign uh, the face I have selected and if we go down to the MSFS materials I'm using a standard I have a day night cycle turned on and down here I'm using the same sign sign 4b PNG for both the base color and the emission color all right so at night it's going to use whatever's in the emissive field all right now in this particular case it's using both all right I mean it's using the same so at night this is going to show up bright okay like it's lit all right now in reality the sign isn't like an LED light uh, LED monitor okay some are they're they're actually changing a lot of them over to LEDs um, in certain areas not out in the middle of nowhere but um, these can be lit different ways now I chose for this particular airport to use the same image as an emissive image all right now in reality it's not lit all the same okay it's it doesn't look the same because there's a platform sitting right behind right below these signs and they're usually spotlights that shine up on the sign okay if you want to do that you can simply in blender add a blender light okay so I'm gonna shift a and I am going to uh, come down here to light and I'm gonna add a spot and it adds a spotlight right there 
and then you can move it and then you can rotate it okay I know I don't have key casting on but I'm just simply using basic blender tools and you can add a spotlight and change its characteristics its color um, the the power you guys know all this right and then make sure that when you export it that in your settings you have punctual lights check marked so these lights will work properly okay so second method of lighting a sign is adding a couple spots and that will give you that diffuse uh that fall off look okay but if you don't want to use a blender light okay you can use a microsoft simulator or an asobo light in the simulator in the scenery designer you could just add a light and hover it next to your sign and it will light the sign at night as well okay that's a pretty quick and easy way but if you want more precision on how that sign looks at night you can use a spotlight in blender and have it shine on the light you might add uh, like in this particular case I'm gonna move this here you know you can have a spotlight here and then you can do a control D and copy that right next to it so you have a, a row of spotlight shining on your sign okay and then you'll get dark areas at night where the spotlight doesn't hit okay you guys know this all right hey if you guys want to see a really good lighting video uh uh frederico pinati mumu has a great video that he just put up a few days ago on on lighting okay um but anyway uh so you can use the sign in the materials whoops you can use the sign in the materials tab under the msfm uh, msfs parameters and use the sign in the emissive field or you can use the in sim lights that a sobo gives us in the scenery editor or you can add spotlights in blender okay and then make sure that you have punctual lights checked so they export correctly all right another way is that you can convert your Increta or any whatever graphic software that you're using. Now, these files will only work in Creta, okay, because they're Creta files. But if you wanted to create a, um, a look of the light, okay, you may not want your sign to be so bright at night, like the whole thing, like I showed you, like an LED board or something. But maybe you want to show a little bit of fall off. And so that means that you want to darken certain corners to make it look like the spotlight's hitting it. But saving it as a texture instead of using a blender light. Okay. You can add, come over here and you can add a paint layer. All right. And then check up here the gradients and choose a gradient that goes from black to transparency all right so I chose this one here all right then add in this new layer you use the gradient tool click the gradient tool and you click at the top and drag that to the bottom and it will add a gradient to it and add some grayish in there okay because the light may not be perfect and it may not light on your sign you know in real life it may not light the sign perfectly all the way across so you can darken some of these areas and then save this out as a new image but give it maybe um, you know export this as a PNG but give it the word night or something at the end so you know that when you go into blender go into blender all right you'll replace the the, the uh, emissive texture with one let's say let's pretend that that was sign 4b that we were working on i would save it as 4b night 
and then I would load that into the emissive layer and then when you bring that into the sim it will look like you have a spotlight on it so different ways to do lights with your signs okay now like I said this video is mainly how to use my Krita sign set kits uh, for your own use and I and you guys have full reign to do whatever you want with those signs um, and have fun with it and and I can't wait to see them in you guys' scenery. Uh, if you guys use these signs, templates in your airports, hey, post pictures of them on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK and Scenery Group on Facebook. Uh, or world or uh, developers, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator Worldwide Developers Facebook group. Uh, that's uh, Jan Lommer's uh, group. SDK and scenery is my group but anyway share sh share your signs and 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 what you're doing with them and and let's uh, have fun with it so I hope this video helped and if you have any questions leave comments and I will do my best to get back to you hey you guys have a great rest of the week and I will see you on the next video see you later